Hey everyone, this is Craig here again from Freelance University. And today I'm excited to have with us Michael Fouché, uh, who is the director of product uh, over at Shift, uh, which is a tool that we are really excited about here at our university, not only for our own business and our team, but for all of the work that you're doing with your clients. So welcome, Michael. Thank you. I'm really excited to talk to you and the team, your, all your users today. Well, I have to tell you a backstory, Michael. So when uh, we got connected with Redbrick and we started talking about different ways that we could uh, work together and we got introduced to Shift, um, the night that uh, it was shared, I think by one of your team members, Olivia, I downloaded it and I started with a free version and I started to add, I guess, the. I think I could add up to three applications. I think it was, there was a cap on the applications I could add. And I told my wife, I said, as of all the apps I've used lately, this is the first one of the first ones that I absolutely want to pull my credit card out to upgrade so that I could really get the full use of it. And so I was super excited. It almost like intuitively filled a gap that I had had for a lot of a lot of years, which is which a lot of you listening to this is we're using lots of applications that we're toggling back and forth and we're not as organized and as, as streamlined as we could be. And then comes along shift. And suddenly it's all there. And that's really been a, uh, it's been a gift to my sort of productivity and, and how I run my week. And so, so maybe let's start there a bit of your background on, you know, I know you are sort of, sort of the brains behind shift. Um, tell us a bit of how it got started and, and, and why you created it. Yeah, sure. And, and thank you for your really kind comments. Mm -hmm. uh, the experience you had is the one we hope most people have when they download yeah. shift. Um, and it, it's part of like meeting that, uh, that pain point that people have and, you know, offering a solution for it. One thing I was going to say, it was interesting when I got introduced to uh, shift, it was two weeks before I was releasing a new workshop to our university. And the workshop was called the freelancers toolbox. And it was all about how the different tools that freelancers use to work with their clients and power their business. And we had all these categories, but then it kind of had a, a, a aha moment when I started using this tool, I said, well, this is actually the toolbox. Like this is actually the box that's housing Help Scout or ConvertKit or MailChimp or, you know, Asana or Trello or whatever the apps are. It's all in there where you'll be able to actually pull in a very organized way, the apps you need at any given time, as opposed to toggle here, toggle there, browser window here, there. And so when I introduced this to our audience, it was like, yes, that's like, it, 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 I think there's a reason why people are paying for it because it, it exactly solved the problem that not only the average entrepreneur has, but then you add freelancers that actually are doubling or tripling or quadrupling the amount of apps they're using because they're doing, they're using multiple apps for the same tool with multiple clients. And so maybe speak to that for a second in terms of how we've already kind of shared maybe the a bit of the benefits, but for the average freelancer, you know, who they do subscribe to a lot of tools and this would be another subscription. Um, you know, what are some of the features you think that would be most beneficial to them and feel free to jump into share screen and we can, we can show them a few things as well. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'll, I'll share in just a moment, but just to touch on what you're talking about, um, and I know freelancers, cause I've talked to a lot of them as well is, um, you know, I don't know about you, but we've sort of, I talked to, you know, basically, part of the pain points that we're trying to solve. But I think the other pain point we've seen evolve, you know, it's been around for a while, but certainly really has evolved in the last four or five years is every new app that's created these days is kind of web first. People talk about mobile first. Yes, that's definitely a lot of apps, but there's always a web companion app. And people are just overwhelmed with tabs in a browser. <laughs> like your capacity of your brain to create a mental map of how, you know, what you're working on and where it is, is limited. You know, it's just, as humans, we're just not, we're not capable of keeping track of a hundred tabs mm -hmm. in front of us. And one of the solutions or the ideas, you know, that we had with Shift is to be able to allow you to have a kind of a mental map of where things are. You know, in the case of, of Shift, it's, you know, your, your, most important email accounts up in the top left of the app, your most used apps on the bottom left. And now we've introduced something called workspaces, which, you know, really was, um, you know, a lot of feedback we got from freelancers. So why don't I show a little bit of, of that? 
That, that would and, be awesome. And just to add to that, as you bring it up here, that's exactly was my experience with it, Michael, was that, you know, even the workflow of my day, like if I start my day, I typically start with my high priority. I've got three email inboxes that I focus on. And so that's where almost like I was working my way down, you know, from my emails into Asana, checking my projects. Then I go to my e-commerce app to check out the stats and the sales from the night before to see where, see how we're, how we're doing. It, it just had this natural progression that I could toggle down. And anyways, I'll let you kind of share a bit of the, the process there. No, but that's, that's great feedback because that's kind of, you know, um, sort of the design philosophy that we've had around shift. Mm -hmm. um, and so as you can see here on my shift, I've got a lot of apps on the left-hand side right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these I want to end and eventually moving into uh, workspaces. And workspaces is an idea that solves what we hope solves several problems at once. One of the big pieces of feedback we had from our users was, you know, I've got so many apps on the left-hand side. I don't have enough room. I'm constantly having to scroll up and down. So one of the things that a workspace does is it allows you to combine a bunch of apps into a workspace which allows you to you know, remove them from the sidebar and move them to almost like a folder, if you can think of it in that sense. But we didn't wanna create just a folder of apps. We wanted to make something that was even more useful. And Workspaces allows you to add uh, apps and I'll just go through the process here where I'm adding a workspace. The first thing I'm given is this untitled workspace and you know, I'll just give it a title, call it demo. Now, the next thing I can do in here is I can I could do a search or I can add an application. So let me add uh, an application. In this case, I'll add Slack uh, demo. And I'll sign in. So now I have an application up here and I can always go back and add another application. So in this case, I'll add Asana. And I know we were discussing this before the interview, but um, one of the things that we wanted to solve uh, with when you're adding apps is this idea in a workspace of this focused workspace environment is the ability to make the workspace around, uh, in a lot of cases, it could be just where you want your messaging apps or where you want, uh, you know, whatever sort of category apps, you can put them in one area. But we also envision workspaces as a focused collaboration space. So if I wanted, you know, as many of us have Asana and when you log into Asana, as you see, it sort of dumps you into all your projects. And, but if I want this workspace to be say about the customer success team, I'll click into this project and now I can actually go up to my Asana icon on the top right, where in workspaces, this is where we put all of your uh, apps. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say, save page as app home. And this allows me to deep link into the Asana app. So now when I go to this workspace and I click on Asana here, it goes into customer success. If I created another workspace uh, around another project, I could deep link to that project there. So again, allowing you to have, um, you know, this very defined space about a specific. Uh, That's terrific. Just to idea. add to that as an application, even in our world. So we have uh, a Facebook group for, for our university students and we've got some mentors that manage that group. And so, so they could have their kind of, as I have their Facebook workspace where it could deep link right to the university uh, group. Um, and then they could also, if they've got their ad account where they do Facebook ads, it could, you know, you know, go right to that app as well. And so, so having sort of your Facebook sort of a centralized area that's going to exactly where, because Facebook's another one where I show up on the interface and I'm, I'm a part of 
Um, I mean, we have our own company groups, but then we've got groups I'm a part of. I'm a, I got my profile, I got pages. Um, and so suddenly I'm spending a lot of time messing around. So that, that uh, would be another example, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The other thing I wanted to show you here, which I think is also important <clears throat> for workspaces, is that you'll notice I've added two apps in here that have uh, message notifications. You see Slack up here. I've got three on red and I, I added LinkedIn, which has three on red. But if you go to the left-hand side and you'll see this is the icon for this workspace, it actually adds up all of the unread notifications oh, wow. that are in that workspace. So, you know, you, you, you can then now have something that says, if I put all my messaging apps into this workspace, I can have this consolidated number Mm -hmm. of just what my unread, you know, uh, social media apps are telling me or my Facebook business or whatever. Mm -hmm. The other cool thing we've just added, and this is coming out in our latest alpha, is I can right click on here and I can go to settings and you now have the ability to change the workspace icon. Before we were defaulting to taking little favicons of whatever apps or web tabs you had. But now you can go in here and edit and you can add, we have some stock items here, um, or you can drag or drop or add your own image. So if you're working with a specific company, you could take their logo and, and drop, drop it in there as a freelancer. And then you can have all your workspaces created for each of the companies you're working with. And that's another thing that you can do. So I'm going to just, that's incredible. That's terrific for, from a branding standpoint, you know, just like, yeah, I could just envision having the company logo based on whatever, you know, you're representing the clients that you work with. So the, the last thing I, well, there's several things I'll go into, but I don't want to go on forever. But if, if this workspace, um, I mean, this is just a demo workspace, but let's say it had something to do with customer success. Um, oh, Let's see, um, and this is just an example. I'm just gonna open up a tab from some search results. And I'll go, oh, this is an interesting thing and I wanna share this with my team. Something that even if you've begun to exp uh, experiment with workspaces, you may not know about this bookmarking feature. So you see on the right hand side, you'll see the star. And if I click on it, it's gonna allow me to create a bookmark that I can now add and I get this nice bookmark bar here right. in my workspace. And this allows you now to um, have a central place where the most used docs that you're working on, whether they be a Google doc, a Google spreadsheet, can now all be put into this one space and people can access it. And I haven't even talked about the sharing feature and the collaboration feature. Uh -huh. I manage um, our customer success team and we have our own um, uh, workspace that we use for all of our meetings. So when we have our daily standups and weekly strategy meetings, we all know to go to our customer success workspace because my team has made uh, a big effort on really curating all of our most used items in these bookmark folders in this bookmark bar. Mm. So we can all come to the meeting um, it's already kind of laid out. Whoever's leading the meeting can say, okay, everyone open up the uh, CS revenue attribution uh, spreadsheet and let's go through it. Um, so it allows you to have this very unique space. And what is also very cool about it is when you share a workspace, you can define what sort of access people have to it. So if I go to share, you know, I can give them edit, admin or view access. Um, I could create a link. And again, defining the access, I could generate that link, copy it, and then drop it into a Slack channel. And if what people click on it, and if they have shift, it then will open up that workspace in shift. And as I was mentioning to you earlier, Craig, a lot of your freelance users and people will be working with people that aren't using shift, which is fine. Um, to use this feature, yes, you need to have a copy of Shift, but they can download and get the basic version of Shift. They don't have to pay for it. You can share a workspace with them and they have full access to the workspace. We don't gate that feature at all. 
So you could give them edit access, they could be adding apps, they could be adding links, deleting links, curating them and working together in one place. That's, that's amazing. And I, I'm thinking not only with the client work, but uh, some of our audience have teams. And so they work with, you know, almost like an agency model. And so to have a place like this where their team is grabbing docs uh, from a central location is just, yeah, I mean, I, I, I would imagine that'd be hugely helpful and, and way more productive. Yeah. And, you know, one of the last items, and I know I'm going in on and on about workspaces, but I, I find it so useful is that we have a um, kind of this default homepage for workspace. It looks like this, you got the name and you can give it um, a description. However, you can also set any web page as your homepage for a workspace. So we had a lot of requests, particularly from our Notion users uh, and Notion users create multiple projects, multiple pages, and you could go and open up a Notion project um, and all you have to do is right click and make that your homepage. Now I could go anywhere, um, you know, I'm just going to shift as our homepage and I can right click on this tab and I can set it as the workspace home. So whenever you click on it, it'll just redirect to this page. Um, so that's just another little feature that we we think is is very useful. Yeah, I love that. I think one of the things we we teach our freelancers is that you know you you need to own your technology, not allow it to own you. And I think a lot of us, you know, in this you know he, this world where we're using multiple apps, is we get overwhelmed um, and we're getting uh, and we're losing time. And as freelancers, we can't lose time because then that means we're losing money. Um, as well. One last thing I wanted to show them, or two things I wanted to mention as well, Michael, is uh, um, so many of our students use LastPass as their password manager. And that has been, for me, obviously golden because um, LastPass integrates, it's an app within Shift that easily allows you to kind of populate all the passwords for all the people that you're working with. So, so, so that's been a, a huge bonus. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. And um, in our latest alpha that's come out, we've completely redone our extension model and LastPass now runs like almost 100% faster. Wow. That's, so that's just, cool. just to let you know. Um, so that's good to know. And, and was there another question you had there? Because I did want to tell you about one other new feature that we have that may be useful for your... Yeah, artists. Yeah, go ahead, and then I'll I'll finish with the last the la my last uh, thought in a moment. Yeah, we um we just introduced we loved LastPass. We supported one hundred percent, but in our latest alpha, we're introducing a new feature which allows you, and it's our password management feature. Oh, so now okay. we've built in password management into Shift, so you'll be able to, um, go and import your passwords from your favorite browser. Nice, okay. And it is incredible. Uh, all I could say, it says zero imported because I've already imported from Chrome. Right, right. And um, you've noticed me logging into a bunch of apps and what's happening as I'm doing this demo, those are all being autofilled by our new password manager. And if you go to passwords, we now have the ability, like these are all my passwords that I have in here. Um, and you can turn it off and on. If you're using LastPass, you can turn this off, even though it'll coexist with LastPass very nicely. I've been testing that because I'm a LastPass user. Um, it will offer to save your passwords. It will autofill. Um, and then we have, it's backing up in sync. So if you have another computer that you work on, um, you have the ability to have your passwords synced between those two. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to sort of um, make your users feel very safe. Mm -hmm. We The encryption of your password vault happens locally. You are the only person that has that key. Um, when the data is synced to our server, it's encrypted. If we were ever asked to give your vault, we have no access to it if anyone took it. They could never crack it open. You're the only one with the key. Um, and wow. you can always have access to your kit through, to your key through your emergency kit. 
Well, what's great about that, and like I said, you know, while we have a large audience that uses LastPass, that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone does. The great thing about it is that the only downside to LastPass is that when I log into my computer in the morning, if I've shut it off, you know, I inevitably have to log into LastPass first before all of my other apps are going to automatically populate. So I correct me if I'm wrong. I imagine the other way with the new and how you're doing it now, that kind of skips that step as well. That's right. Yeah. If you're okay. logged into shift, your passwords are available to you. And um, it's great because if you ever in the, in the odd case where you may have to sign out of shift now, the process of relogging into all of your accounts is so much easier. Yes. Uh, I can't, I can't tell you. Um, I've been living with this in our internal beta for a couple months and it's been a dream. I'm very proud of this new feature, and I think it's going to have a big impact for all of our users. Absolutely. Well, I'm very excited about this tool, Michael. It's it's and like I said to my wife, uh, you know, we use a lot of apps in our business, and I said this is the most exciting one that I've used this year, and we're looking forward to sharing it with our whole audience. Um, you know, if you're part of Freelance University, you're going to get access to a discount um, that will probably be below this video, and we'll be sharing more details. Uh, on how you can dive in and even how you can just start using the tool, even the basic version, if that's where you want to be. Um, the last thing I just wanted to share with them is that, uh, which you're, you're already reading my mind, um, is that you're going to be able to access uh, the university uh, right through your shift. So you don't even have to leave to take your training and, and dive into the community. You can be doing that right within the context of shift. And so, so uh, thank you, Michael, for adding that, uh, the, adding us to your latest apps um, within shift. Uh, no, we're very happy. Uh, we we are so thankful for the freelancers out there because they've been some of our strongest supporters of Shift. Mm -hmm. um, the feedback has been amazing. We hope that we continue to develop a product that meets and exceeds your needs as we we hope it will. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time and, and your wisdom. And we're looking forward to just uh, our freelancers, as they grow their businesses, they, they, they could be using tools like this to really streamline all of the client work and the cool things that they're doing. So thanks for your time.